there's no better feeling than submitting an assignment. everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to film student diaries i am so happy you are here today let me just tell you what's currently going on with me so it is currently monday and it is 10 past four i have been working away all day the day has just disappeared really fast tomorrow my first draft of my script is due for my script writing class which is kind of a big deal this is probably one of the most important modules and the most important assignment i have this year because it then leads to five of our scripts getting picked for next year's semester to be created into a short film script writing is not exactly my forte I get very nervous about script writing. It's very different to writing an essay. It's just different. <laughs> so I'm trying my best at the moment to get some sort of a first draft ready to go to have it for my lecture tomorrow morning. It's going pretty okay. I have been handwriting all day because I find I think so much better when I handwrite than if I was just staring at a blank screen all day. So I've been handwriting away and now I'm just putting it into script format on my laptop properly. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Let me zoom you in a bit more here. This evening I am going to the cinema. Thank goodness I'm so excited to go to the cinema it is pretty much cinema season at the moment in a usual year I would say September through to January is like the real golden time of the year you're coming into award season a lot of movies want to keep their release dates for this time of year but you're talking about all the movies last year that couldn't go ahead are now going ahead now so pretty much every weekend there's a new movie out which I'm not complaining about at all I'm super happy happy about it. So tonight I'm going to see Venom which is kind of an interesting one because I didn't particularly enjoy the first Venom movie. I think superhero movies have come such a long way in the last few years and I feel like Venom took like 10 steps back from that. One thing I'm very interested about is the fact that there's a new director on board and also Tom Hardy was notoriously known for hating the writing of the first Venom movie and there was a lot of conflict on set about that. Within this second movie he's had a lot more control so I'm very very curious to see where this goes and to see if it is much better. We shall see. So this is one movie I'm kind of looking forward to. It's not my most anticipated movie of the year but I'm definitely looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to going to the cinema. But yeah, for now it is back to my computer. I have to get typing. I have to get as much as I can done before I go to the cinema. So yeah, I've got a hot lemon water because I've just kind of been craving it and yeah. So I'm bringing you along this week on my film student diaries. cinema and I'm basically wearing pajamas and my Ugg slippers because that is the only way to go to the cinema. If you're wearing the closest thing you own to pajamas, you're doing it right. It is currently now much later. It is, can you see that? It is currently, is that 25 to 12? I think it is. I'm back from the cinema. I, uh, how do I put this kindly? I strongly disliked it. It was fine, but like just fine. It coasted on fine. 
it was pretty much the first Venom movie all over again. I actually think it was the same movie and they just threw in a new villain to pretend and fool us as if they filmed a whole new movie. It was so the same as the first one. Yeah, like there was just no difference in the characters at all. It was just so weak. Sorry, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I'm sorry. Yeah, really didn't enjoy it. Just for some reason, I don't like Eddie's character or Venom's. Like, I just don't think they're written very well. I don't think the movie's written too well. Yeah, it was just a remake of the first movie, to be honest with you. The only thing that made it decent was the end credit. If you're a fan of the MCU, I do recommend watching it for that purpose. Did enjoy the experience of going to the cinema, as always. It's, it's literally my happy place in life. But yeah, now I'm in bed, ready to sleep. I have to get up at half six in the morning to go get my bus. Ah, that's how mad I am about it. I have my script due tomorrow. Well, my first draft of my script due tomorrow. And I'm kind of like having really mixed emotions about it because I haven't fully finished my draft, which is okay. Um, I don't think we're expected to have it fully done, but I'm just really not particularly liking it right now. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to chatting my, to my lecturer a bit about that. So it's a full day of script writing tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'll see how I get on. But for now, I'm going to sleep and I'm going to try and read instead of going on this and try to get to sleep in the next five minutes because I'm going to need to <laughs> since I'm getting off so early. But yeah, that's my Monday. See ya. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Currently Tuesday and it is four o'clock on a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. I, as you have just seen, run myself a bath. Kind of really randomly to be honest. I mean, it's kind of a weird time to be having a bath. I haven't been feeling too well. So when I got home from college today, I just thought a bath could be a really nice idea to kind of unwind before I get stuck back into everything again and get some work done. But with regards to today, I had script writing obviously and I had my first draft to submit. We submitted it and then we sat with our lecturer individually and got to talk through what had already been done and what we can do to change it. It literally just registered in my brain that this script is due on Friday the 22nd and it is currently the 19th. It's just crept up so fast and it's freaking me out. I got really great constructive criticism and also compliments, which is great. My lecturer is really good at that, like mixing a bit of both. So I'm very happy with where I'm at, but I definitely have a lot of work I want to do in order to have it, that it is something I'm really happy to submit on Friday. So yeah, we got some work to do, but for now I'm just gonna try to kind of de-stress and breathe a bit. So I have run myself the nicest bath ever. Look at those candles. I am super excited about it. And it pretty much has like four different 
products that smell like lavender in it so let's hope I get to relax and chill out I might read I have my book here but I also have my iPad and I might watch Emma Chamberlain's new video I have a big thing of cold water to keep me going also and yeah I'm excited to relax I am wrecked I would be napping right now if I wasn't getting in the bath I might fall asleep let's hope I don't but yeah I hope you are having a wonderful day ah stressed anyway it is time for my bath two hour nap i'm not even kidding look at my face i sat an alarm for 20 minutes it's been two hours this is not good people it's gonna be a late night working session oopsies i had a great nap though yay to a good nap no to so much work to do i want to die i have a whole script to finish and then i have a whole assignment to start to have done for 9 a.m friday morning Good morning, it is Thursday and I look and feel like death. I don't know where I went wrong, but I have so much work to do. It's terrifying. I've got so much work to do in the next 24 hours, actually less than 24 hours. So I'm freaking out a bit, but I have you guys to keep me company and we're gonna get it done. I'm also gonna be using my Forest app religiously, which is an app that stops me from going on any other apps on my phone. Such a good help. This has been a not so enjoyable week of college for me to show you guys, but it is the reality. I love, love, love studying film. It's one of my favorite things in the world. But let me tell you, if you honestly think studying film is just watching movies and critiquing them, it's so far from that. It gets pretty intense, like a lot of college courses, but it's probably a course you wouldn't think is hard or intense, but yeah, it is. So even if I love it, it's still overwhelming at times. Also, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out because last night I was really sad sitting at my laptop and all of a sudden I noticed I hit 20,000 subscribers. 20,000. 20,000. So I don't have time to sit down and celebrate right now, but I will be celebrating this weekend. I'm so, so happy and I'm so, so grateful, but I got to get to work. I literally have no time to be excited, but I'm so excited. Thank you so much, I love you all. You're the best people in the world. Okay, I gotta go, gotta study, bye. through my assignment that I just finished with you guys because some of you like a little bit more of an in-depth talking about my college course. So this assignment was for a module I have called production management. It's all the paperwork, pretty much what producers do, finding locations, going through scripts, breaking things down, all of that kind of stuff. We were given a script. I'll show you an example here. So we were given a script, you can see it here. 
And basically we had to highlight through and break the script down. It's called a script breakdown. We had to highlight things like props, the cast, how many times they pop up in it, moments that need to be highlighted and acknowledged so that then we can see, okay, we need to be in a cemetery. So we need a cemetery as our location. We have to have a car, we need to have a flashlight, all of that kind of stuff. So that's what that part was. Then after that, you go through these things the script breakdown sheet so you put all of that into much clearer form for each scene then after that we have a shooting schedule <laughs> so we plan out our schedule when we are shooting how many scenes are we shooting in one day all of that kind of stuff who all do we need there from the cast do we need everyone or just two people then we did a little bit of scouting for locations and we had a production board so yeah, that is that done. I have to just print off a sheet with my name and the assignment details on it. And then that is that finished. So I'm gonna get a little bit of a break now, then start into my script. I'm so tired, I'm exhausted. But yeah, that is pretty much everything. I'm so excited for the weekend, I want to cry. I did cry actually today multiple times but yeah one down one to go Woo. guys i did it i did it i did it i completed and finished and got it all done i completed two assignments today it is currently 142 which actually isn't too bad i'm going to look over it in the morning before submitting it and just check for spelling mistakes or anything I want to change but I'm actually really happy I was feeling so crappy about it and then all of a sudden I just kind of got like in a really good rhythm with it and I was getting excited about it and I was able to see an end point for it and where I wanted it to end and how I wanted it to go so I'm so so over the moon I'm so happy that is done I think I have everything done for tomorrow but yeah I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> I'm so tired. I have to be in college for nine tomorrow, so it's an early start, but I got there. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. sitting in my car while my mom is in Lido and I'm about to submit my script. This script is a hundred percent of this module's grade this year so I'm really nervous about it. I've read it over and I've read it over and I honestly don't think there's much more I can do so this is it people. Okay I'm literally about to submit. Okay okay. I submitted it. So happy right now. Ah. I now have a week off from college and I'm gonna relax. But I also have work to do, but I'm gonna relax. So I basically look and feel like death right now and I am excited to get home, get showered, clean my room because it is a mess. There's no better feeling than submitting an assignment. <laughs> 